Fuck second and third and fourth and fifth chances. I'm serious. Those people are showing you their true colors. There is a very big difference between being understanding and getting walked all over. And a lot of you guys are playing the dangerous game of leaning too far towards being walked all over. You just keep giving more chances on a daily basis because you are too afraid of confrontation. And listen, I get it. Being alone in life is not fucking fun. When I went in the transition from drug addict ironworker to where I am now as an entrepreneur, I was very alone in life. Very alone. I would work at work for around 8 to 12 hours. 8 on a slow week when we didn't have a lot of work and 12 when we needed to get the job done quicker. I would then go home, shower, go to the gym, come home, and sit in my house staring at a TV or playing video games by myself for months. Months. And if I did end up going and hanging out from anybody at work, it wasn't really because we were friends. It was more just because we knew each other from work. I don't know if you guys know what that's like. Like I would see them sometimes, but we wouldn't text every day. We wouldn't hang out every day. I was alone. I didn't have anybody in my circle. And the people who I did allow in my circle fucked up a lot. And I kept giving them chance after chance after chance because I didn't want to be fucking alone. I was allowing people to act out of alignment with my core principles, my values, and what I thought was right due to the fact that I was scared of confrontation and I was scared of being alone. It's hard to just be by yourself. It's hard to just be alone with your own fucking thoughts. And that's why a lot of you guys lean more on the line of being fucking walked on. It's okay to be understanding. Some people just need to be heard out. And yes, some people fuck up. But at the end of the day, there's a fine line between a mistake and someone fucking up because that's their true character. And that's why I always talk about how you should say fuck off to second and third and fourth and fifth chances. Because let's be real. If it's somebody forgetting to show up on time, that's okay. It's not a big deal. If it's somebody spending all your money on fucking drugs, probably don't need a second chance, all right? Homie's literally showing you that he's a drug addict and that he doesn't understand how to control his fucking impulses. That's coming from a person who used to struggle with drugs. That's coming from a person that used to struggle with fucking substances. Now, I'm not saying that those addicts don't deserve another chance at life, but you don't need to be walked on in the process. Let's say your partner just goes and fucks somebody in your bed. They probably don't deserve a second chance. They probably don't deserve your understanding. They deserve a fuck off and get out of my house. But you guys are so scared of confrontation. You're so scared of being alone. You're so scared of looking in the mirror by yourself and facing who you truly are that you just allow people to walk all over you. You lean more towards the side of being walked on than being understanding. And there is a drastic fucking difference between the two. So what I want you to do, here's your homework. I want you to really sit down and audit every one of your friends and every one of your family members that you communicate with on a daily basis. And ask yourself, who have I been avoiding the sweaty palm combo with? You see, I call sweaty palm combos, combos that make your hands sweat because they're stressful. You know what I'm talking about. Who are you avoiding the conversation with? Most people can identify one to five conversations they should have already had in their circle. And most of them avoid that conversation because it's easier to give 30 chances than it is to face confrontation. But what you need to understand is you're not being understanding anymore. You're being fucking walked on and you don't deserve it. So audit those people and then either have the combo or just release them from your life. Because some people are past having the conversation with. Again, your partner fucks somebody in your own bed, probably don't need to have the convo, you just gotta say goodbye. Somebody's late every day, you don't have to say goodbye, have the convo. Homie, I don't appreciate you showing up five to 15 to 30 minutes late every single time we make plans. Makes me feel like you don't care about me. Communicate more. There's a difference between being understanding for somebody's situation, being fucking walked on because you're afraid of confrontation.